How's it going guys? Lian here and welcome to the first video of Miscellaneous Mondays. Miscellaneous Mondays. So basically the concept behind Miscellaneous Mondays is it is a whole segment or series that I will be doing every other Monday of the month. So aside from my main content which is architectural related and revolves around the world of architecture, the content that I will do with Miscellaneous Mondays are basically gonna be random content that I want to post probably be doing some gaming videos some question and answer videos some drawing videos and doodle videos and you know miscellaneous stuff I'll probably also be playing the guitar someday in the future who knows basically I'm gonna do some of my passions during miscellaneous Mondays because architecture is not my only passion today's miscellaneous Monday will be drum roll it'll be super sad if I didn't find any drum roll music and I'm just actually waving my hands in the air like a dumbass and creating the drum roll with my mouth like so today's video is going to be a question and answer video the easiest to make out of all the video types out there yeah cuz I'm a little bit lazy cuz it's Sunday yeah <laughs> so for today's question and answer I'll be answering the most asked questions that you guys put in the comments First question, where are you from and what is that accent? Okay, so I just paraphrased some of your questions and turned it into a general question. So where am I from and what is this accent? So I am from the Philippines, I am Filipino. And this accent that I'm doing right now is a Filipino accent, but not a typical Filipino accent because the Filipinos sound like this and I do not sound like this. I'm just, I don't know why, I probably watch too much Nickelodeon. So, so yeah, my accent is Nickelodeon Filipino. If that makes any sense. <laughs> Moving on. This is off to a great start, man. <laughs> Dang. Second question. Do I have to be good at math in order to get into architecture school or in order to be an architect? So in my experience and in my opinion, no, you don't have to be good at math for the reason that that is why you are going to school. It's so that they can teach you all the math subjects. You just need to know all the basic maths that they taught you from grade 1 to grade 12 in order to get into architecture school but you don't have to be like a super genius in math like you can compute the square root of pi without using a calculator. You don't have to be that good at math. Next question. Dear Lian, do I have to be good at drawing in order to get into architecture school or in order to become an architect? So again, my answer based on my experience and my opinion no, you don't have to be good at drawing in order to get into architecture schools. So the reasoning behind that why I answered no is that is why you are going into architecture school is so that you can learn how to improve your drawing skills and plan and you know do all those stuff that architect does. Also one of the reasons why you don't have to be good at drawing per se is there's already so much computer softwares out there that help you guys with the whole drawing process. So even though you're not good at drawing and you're not really skilled with your hands you can become an architect. You can use all these computer softwares and stuff. So yeah, you don't have to be good at drawing in order to get into architecture school. You just need to know how to use a pen and some rulers and boom, architecture school, you're accepted. It's probably more complicated than that. Let's move on to the next question. <laughs> Lian, is it hard to become an architect? Okay, so I'm going to combine this question with another of you guys' question. Dear Lian, is architecture school hard? So my answer to this, again, based on my experience and my opinion is, no, architecture school and becoming an architect is not hard due to the reason that I really love architecture and I have fun doing anything architecture related. Even doing these videos that are architecture related, I really have fun doing it. So once you're having fun with something, it wouldn't seem that hard to you because it just like you're playing so for me my definition of hard might be different for you guys but for me something is hard if no matter how hard you try and no matter what you do you still couldn't achieve your desired outcomes so for me skateboarding is hard because I still couldn't kickflip until now sucks also for me basketball is hard because I still couldn't dunk until now also sucks I believe I can for me those are the hard things that no matter how hard I try and how many hours I put into that whole, you know, thing. I really couldn't improve on that particular field of my life. So, yeah, those things are hard for me. But for architecture and architecture school, it's kind of like a big ball. The first time you push the ball, it's going to be real hard. Like, this ball is so hard. Also, this looks so wrong. First time you push the ball, it's going to be real hard. But once you get the ball rolling, it's going to be a little bit easier every time. And eventually, the ball's just going to roll by itself. 
So you're gonna have a really bad time trying to stop the ball and then it's gonna squish a ton of people and it's gonna be your fault and then the town is gonna come for your head like in Frankenstein where the, you're gonna hide in your tower and then the whole town is carrying pitchforks and gonna burn your tower because you crushed a ton of people with your giant ball. Make sure your ball is in control. What was the question about? <laughs> Next question. Dear Leon, could we see some of your plates while you were in school? So I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm not really a good student when I was in school. Actually, first year and second year of school, I failed like some of my subjects and had to retake some of it. Yeah, so that's how bad I was at school. But uh, during third year to fifth year, I finally got my shizzles together and was able to do proper work at school. So I only kept my works from third year to fifth year. Unfortunately, I left it at the corner of the house that is apparently super damp and super moist. So ruined those plates. Those plates are now covered in mildew and molds and are probably in a trash dump somewhere because I threw them away. So I'm sorry, it's not that I was ashamed of them, it's just that the humidity here in the Philippines is like 100% all the time. The air is so thick that you can basically swim in it. Like, oh, it's working, it's working. Oh, my phone fell, dang it. That's what you get for trying to make dumb jokes. Your phone falls down. Lucky for me, it didn't break. Alright, so I guess I already answered five questions, so that is my limit for today. I'm going to answer five questions, so I would like to take the rest of your time to plug in some of my merch. Yes, guys, we, we now have merch. I created like two shirts. I made one black shirt and one white shirt right here. I'm gonna post the image of the merch and the design right here on the screen right now. Right, so if you guys like that, you could support me and buy some of my merch. Links in the description below. And also, I almost forgot, I finally launched a Patreon page. Visit my Patreon page at Patreon dot com slash lian that's patreon dot com slash l l y a n so if you guys are interested in supporting my channel and maybe giving me a dollar of your own monies out of the kindness of your heart i'm so touched this is actually my crying face <laughs> okay so i obviously wouldn't win an oscar for that crying face so that is the miscellaneous monday video finally done this probably lasts more than 10 minutes now i really wanted it to be like three minutes but I keep on rambling guys so yeah thank you for watching i'll see you guys on my next video which is this friday so hit that notification bell a ton of youtubers are saying this so i'm also gonna say it please hit that notification bell notification squad i'll see you guys on my next video flying peace